you're here today among family and friends to join together Michael and Tiffany in the promise of marriage. Marriage, husband and wife, is the most valuable and the most important relationship there is in this life. And so we should commit ourselves to each other unconditionally with the support of those closest to us and also understanding our responsibility before God. So to this lifelong promise, Michael and Tiffany come now to be joined. And who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. And you may be seated. Today for the two of you is obviously a very, very special day. Your love for each other bringing you here. You're now taking this biggest of all steps and promising your love to each other for the rest of your lives. And so you're making this promise to be there for each other through every experience, every challenge that you face in life together. And to allow your love for each other to grow and to deepen for one another as time goes by. So today for the two of you is really all about commitment. It's a lifelong, unconditional commitment of love. So I want to encourage you to love each other deeper, deeply and from your heart. So with that in mind, Michael, do you take Tiffany to be your wife, to live together in the promise of marriage? Do you promise to love and serve her, respect and support her, and allowing nothing or no one to come between you? Do you give yourself completely to her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Tiffany, do you take Michael to be your husband, to live together in the promise of marriage? Do you promise to love and serve him, respect and support him, and allowing nothing or no one to come between you? Do you give yourself completely to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Okay. Can I hand me your bouquet for a moment? Thank you. Turn and face each other. Join hands. And repeat your vows after me. I, Michael, take you, Tiffany. I, Michael, take you, Tiffany. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will be there for you. I shall be there for you. Through good times and bad times. In the good times and in the bad times. And diets. And diets. <laughs> For him, not me. <laughs> Whether we are rich or poor. Whether we are rich or poor. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I shall love and cherish you. According to God's word. According to God's word. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. I, Tiffany, take you, Michael. I, Tiffany, take you, Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will stand beside you. I will stand beside you. Through success or misfortune. Through success or misfortune. Through the joys and sorrows of life. Through the joys and sorrows of life. In victory or defeat. In victory or defeat. I will love and respect you. I will love and respect you. According to God's word. According to God's word. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Rings. Thank you. These rings are symbols of your love. They are a physical expression of something much deeper and much more valuable that's in your heart for each other. You'll wear these rings as a reminder to yourselves of your lifelong promise to each other here today and as a symbol and a seal of your love. Excellent. So Michael, if you could sit down on Tiffany's ring finger. And be careful of the nails. <laughs> and repeat after me oh, with this ring. <laughs> with this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. <laughs> Left. <laughs> with this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. Watch the nails. 
<laughs> Maybe a crimp. Can you turn her face to me? Okay. Uh, let's take a moment and pray together. Father, we thank you today for Michael and Tiffany, this very special couple and their love for each other that is so very evident here today. And we ask, Lord, that you would cause their love for each other to grow and to deepen for one another as time goes by. And may their home be filled with much laughter and happiness and joy. And may you grant them a long, healthy, and prosperous life together and that they put their trust in you. We ask this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says that love is patient, love is kind. It's never jealous or envious or boastful or proud. The love does not demand its own way, and it keeps no record of wrongs. If you love someone, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You'll always believe in them, always expect the best of them, and always stand your ground in defending them. And we want to mention your parents, uh, uh, Michael, your parents, Iris and Bill and Tiffany, Ann, and Richard, that were not able to travel to be with us today and honor them that way. Thank you. I'm sure I can speak on behalf of all of us here today. It certainly is a joy to be part of this celebration of your love and your lives being joined together. Thank you. Since Michael and Tiffany have agreed together in the promise of marriage, you've done this before God and your family and friends. You've given and pledged your vows to each other. You've sealed those vows by giving and receiving a ring. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce that you are husband and wife. And you your lovely bride. And you turn around. I'd like to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Tiffany Harrison. Sing and bruising us, drink like I am to life, cause the mood like us to be joyful.